phenomenal, man. Is it that hot? It's all hot. We have on the menu today, Matthew. Tell me, Joe. We're going to be trying the newest, the hottest, in and out secret menu food hacks. Oh, baby. We got a four by four with chopped chilies. A whole grilled onion wrapped flying Dutchman. What? A cheeseburger with a tomato bun. Roadkill fries. Root beer float shake and a Neapolitan shake. Oh my! This is why I love doing these videos because it's like doing bucket list things. Like, I can always say that I've tried it all. These are the new trendy ones. I didn't think they were gonna do it, but they did it. They did it, they committed. They they weren't like, uh, we have no clue what you're talking about. They were like, yes, we absolutely know what we're talk you're talking about. No, the guy was a complete pro. I warned him that it was gonna be a tricky order. What do you wanna try first? You wanna try the tomato based bun? Uh, yeah, let's go with the tomato based bun. Hubba bubba, look at that. Okay, this is cute. This is healthy. This is adorable. This is very LA chic. I'm already loving this. There's people who are like, I hate tomatoes. Tomatoes are awful. That's I'm, me. I, really? I hate tomatoes, dude. Why do you hate tomatoes? They're red, they're juicy, they're watery. You take a bite out of them, it's like you're eating jello. They're like a waste of space, but I don't think they taste bad. Ex but it just waters down the food. It doesn't add anything to it. Like the lettuce, you get that crunch, you get that like, it's like a spray in your mouth. What are you having? Well, this is a four by four, but you could have the, you could have the first oh, no, bite. No, no, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, I'll have a first bite of this, the tomato based. Bun burger? Yeah, the tomato bun burger. This looks adorable. Wait, can you show it? Yeah. Like, that's great. If they served this, like, at a party, I would totally go for this. Actually? Like, at, like, a casual, just, you know, grab grab what you're feeling. This, I like. Like a throw-up party, I feel like, right? Oh, oh, come on. All right, ready? Matt, that's just, it's like... Can I eat this, Joe? Can <laughs> yeah. I eat this? Please, I have been starving all day. I, I'll do you a favor. Don't eat it. Throw it out the window. Joe, okay, Joe, sorry. Joe, you're killing me. You're killing you're me. You're right, here. you're right, you're right. Uh, this is about experiencing new things. Mm. Disgusting, huh? Great. You know who would have loved this? Um, a rabbit. Harriet the Spy. Who? You ever saw Harriet the Spy? <laughs> no. Harriet the Spy, man. Uh -uh. She would. She loved tomato sandwiches. I feel like she would love this tomato. A okay. tomato sandwich sounds like my personal hell. You're gonna eat that whole thing? Mm. Wouldn't well, you rather just get punched in the face? Okay, I'll do that. Hold on. You rather oh, get punched in the face? This is adorable. Hold on. Matt, it's like you're mm. eating dirt. You're gonna try the four by four with chili. Yes. I'm gonna try. Wait, oh, this is the Flying Dutchman. That is the Flying Dutchman. I ha I'm familiar with the Flying Dutchman. I've never had it. The 4x4, four four, but it, wait, is this innovative because it's a 4x4? Four four? Oh. Because they just don't advertise 4x4s. Four they don't advertise 4x4s, four but I added sweet chilies to it. So the sweet chilies is a special item on there. And, and sweet chilies like the little peppers that they have by the ketchup station? I think so. I'm going to take the Flying Dutchman, and I'm going to put it on my fries. I think, boom, roadkill fries. That is a creation and a half. That is girthy. This is really good. This kind of reminds me of, for any Whataburger fans out there. Love Whataburger. Now, not every Whataburger has it, but I know if you're from like New Mexico, those Whataburgers have green chili burgers on them. Oh. On their menu. Okay. Because green chili is huge for New Mexico, Arizona area. I believe that's true. It's but so cool how- This is like that. That looks stacked and amazing. Can I try the Flying Dutchman? Yeah, go for it, I'm gonna deassemble the, the fries. I'm just gonna go for the flying dutchman. Which is basically just onions. Just onions and a patty and cheese. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Matt. <sighs> that is three of my favorite things. Cheese, meat, and, and onions. onions. Yeah. No, that's a trio, man. That's better than peanut butter and jelly, man. It psychologically is messing with me because I've never had in and out with the spice. And now that I'm having it, it's like, I'm not used to tasting this with spice. But man, it hits though. How is the amount of meat inside a 4x4? Four four? Plenty of meat, Joe. And you know I love a lot of meat in my mouth. Yeah, you could, wasn't that your fraternity uh, slogan back in I the day? I wasn't in a frat. I wasn't in a frat. Oh my gosh, look who that is. Was that Ben Affleck? I think it was. Oh! Joe. Caitlin saw a celebrity this morning. You're gonna freak the F out. Oh, it's that big of a celebrity. Is it because I like this celebrity or they're just like a top tier? I assume both. A-lister. I assume both. Can I guess? Go for it. George Clooney. Nope. My warm? Less than George Clooney. But George Clooney's like number Male. one. Male? Male. Less than George Clooney but close in age? Mm-hmm. Eugene Levy. Bigger. Uh, William H. Macy. Bigger. Anthony Hopkins? Equal? Who is it, Joe? He was on two very big sitcoms. One, he was a very lovable dad. Another one, he was a drug dealer. 
Oh, Brian Cranston. Oh yeah. Whoa. That's pretty sick. I've seen Aaron Paul a lot. I've never seen Brian Cranston. I thought these roadkill fries had meat on it, but I guess they didn't do it right. So, oh, roadkill fries is the animal style fries with the meat on it, but they didn't put the meat on it. Oh, so this is just basically animal style fries, but they did put on a lot of onions. Normally they just would have chopped like grilled onions on it. There's like some onion rings going on here, Joe. Is that left over from my Dutchman? What is left over, this? Yeah. Maybe, Joe. What was this? Oh, this is, I think this was supposed to go on here. Man, I really fudged this up. You really did, Joe, but you know what, things happen, we, we, no problems, only solutions. That's how we do it here. There you go. Oh, so they just put a protein style, or yeah, it's just a patty. That's what, what it what, is. What do we do now, Joe? You just put <laughs> it just right on top of the fries. I never had the protein style, so I'm very, very excited to just finally try this with the lettuce. You know what I was thinking protein style? I was thinking like Jay Boys. I feel like this is what he orders all the time. Matt was a little late today because he did unfiltered, so the fries are a little... Oh yeah, they're kind of a little They're a little stiff. stiff. They look like prop movie fries. They like, do. We have two shakes. Two shakes off the secret menu that you cannot just get off the regular menu. You want the Neapolitan or the root beer? The root beer, because if that that is, I, for mil, I'm familiar with the Neapolitan. Zane loves a Neapolitan shake. Which one's which? You have the root beer. Oh, I do. Oh my gosh. I love a good root beer float. You know, one time. Cheers, brother. Cheers, my man. Sorry, I already went in for it. Oh, that tastes good. I've never had a Neapolitan shake. That's fantastic. That's you haven't? Never. You've done all of these mukbangs and you've not, never once gotten? Because you? if I get a shake, I just want a chocolate. Mm -hmm. And like, why am I going to water it down with vanilla and strawberry? Wow. That's really good. You know, one time when I was a kid, I was at a Chili's. And remember Chili's, they bring out the coasters? Yeah. Like at Chili's, we made a tower of the coasters. Like we would like stack one, then we would stack two, and we made it go so high to like, I swear, the ceiling of Chili's. Oh, that's And the so waiters funny. were so impressed that they gave us free root beer floats. That was the first time I had a root beer float was at Chili's. When you were a kid, did you want to work at any of those places? Um, I mean, I always wanted to work at Chuck E. Cheese's and then I did work there. So in a way that was a dream come true. Were we, you the mouse? Yes, we've talked about this. I didn't know you were the yeah, mouse. Yeah, yeah, I was the mouse. At I used to want to work as a cashier because I thought they got to keep the money. <laughs> I think I wanted to work at Rainforest Cafe. That would have been a sick job. I never really had one near me. I think I only went there like when I went to Disney. Yeah. It was kind of a one-time thing. When I went to New York City, I forced my parents to go to the WWE restaurant. WWE did not have a restaurant. Yeah, they did in the middle of Times Square. No way. Were kids allowed in there? Yeah, yeah. it was a, a full-blown restaurant. What did they have? Like Grand Slam burgers or I don't know. A body Slam burger. Hulk Hogan perhaps. hoagies. Uh -huh. My best friend growing up loved professional wrestling. And so I would play like the N64 games. I know who like, wasn't there one guy called Sting? And he had the face paint. Triple H, China, China mm -hmm. Doll, R.I.P. Who was like the the guy who like was like a sumo wrestler with the big butt? Rikishi. Rikishi, and he he'd like sit on people. He has a wrestling school in Van Nuys. No way. Would you ever want to go? No. Why? Because <laughs> I don't know that much about Rikishi. Like, <laughs> Look I, it up. John Cena was like popping off, like kind of right when I checked out. Probably. Yeah. John Cena though. That's amazing. Did you watch Ricky's to Nikki? I was about to put it on, but then I chose it's, not to. It's really good. Actually? Yeah. It's I great. heard other reviews. I went in thinking that. was like, there's no way I'm going to watch it. And then I didn't finish it, but I was very impressed with it. Hmm. And I was laughing pretty hard. What kind of comedy is it? Well, the director of Ricky Stinicky directed Dumb and Dumber. I thought the producer was. No, I'm pretty sure it's the same director. Oh, interesting. I love Andrew Santino, so I was really excited to watch him in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Andrew Santino's my favorite part. I listen to Whiskey Ginger all the time. I like Bad Friends. So good. What are you doing the rest of the day? Editing. I just had a big podcast today. Who was it? Riley Ooh. Arnold, baby. Is this a pro wrestler? <sighs> Dancing with the Stars girl. Oh, Riley Arnold. You, yeah. You're getting the coolest guest. I admire, I admire the people that you book. I told you, I'm trying to get to Carrot Top. Oh no, you I told are... Mike. I told Matt. I uh, know you're Matt. I told Mike. You did? <laughs> I I like Carrot Top. I love him. I, have you seen his show in Vegas? Yes. You have? Yeah, I, at the I love seeing clips of Carrot Top. He's very funny. He's so I funny. love, I really like his sense of humor. He's really funny. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Comment down below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You know Joe and I, we have tons of mukbangs out there. Make sure to check them out. Do go check them out. I love you, Joe Tato Heads. Play rates. Peace. Out. Go follow our wives on social media. Yeah.